it's like ooh la la, ooh la la. It's not hard to say how I feel. It's like ooh la la, ooh la la. It's kinda easy now 'cause it's real. Hey. Na 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 na. guys okay what did i do why who's apologizing for what i don't understand and then i see lupe says something about a linda says something about a burrow alert or oh it was that because in um jimmy kimmel had a burrow on a uh, stage i just turned it off <laughs> i had i was listening to larry and angie and my headphones kind of watching the oscars on the other side but bob had he yeah he made <sighs> jambalaya with the rest of the main lobster tails and the snow crab. Yeah, so it was kind of a deluxe Oscar dinner for us. How is everybody? Good to see you all. There's Linda. Yay. And checking in. Tamara's here. Lupe's here. Thank you for sending in your stuff, Lupe. Very cool. Um, Tamara, I got your stuff and I got it in and I got it in on time. No problem. And I got Larry's stuff. Why is Gretchen on early? I'm not on early. I just am on on time. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> occasionally it's like, it's like daylight savings time, you know, uh, it'll, it'll wear off qu fairly quickly, but there is that surge with daylight savings times that we had, you know, spring forward, move your clock ahead an hour. And all that it it gets me on time for a short amount of time we'll see how long it lasts finally experimenting with fruits but i love the flowers uh try the flowers you can't go wrong with flowers oh i have flowers to show in what i did for art which is nothing like what lupe does but it my my doodle one night i you guys get to see my doodles it's a donkey uh, was it Okay, it seemed little. Hi, Susan! Yay! Botanical poor person, I can live without flowers. Ah. There's Linda. Oh! Oh, Tamara, I'm. Oh! Holy Ned, that's right. Ah. Uh, so. Tamara. Uh, my clock, in, in a bunch of the states in the United States, we all shifted our clock ahead early, right? Hawaii doesn't shift. Arizona doesn't shift. Totally throws us off. There's some places in other parts of the world that don't shift till another time or even at all. Yes. So anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't even connect with that. See? Oh. Uh, I know I got your stuff. Tamara, I got it in. No problem. I saw it come in. It came in and as, as an alert. We were up right after Larry's got done. Um, it came in as an alert and uh, we were watching the Oscars and then I just came down here. So everything's all good. Nope. No, no boring Larry. Crawfish pie filet gumbo. Oh, no, no, he did... Um, he didn't do a real jambalaya this time. It was it was um, uh, a little bit. He had a jambalaya rice type stuff, but we had we didn't. I decided I didn't want to mix my seafood in. It was the I don't snow crab was is not my favorite versus Dungeness, and then we had the lobster tail left. That anyway. Ah, uh, yes, eating brunch. 
So there is Julia Lee too on the 1st of April. Oh, okay. Two green paintings today. You hate green? Oh, Julia, I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. Um, best in 70 countries around do. My son and I were the, on the phone during the day. Yeah, Arizona doesn't, and which means my I'm completely off with my daughter on what went in the where I, I'll, I'll screw up completely. And then Hawaii doesn't. And so when I'm talking to Doc or he's, he's, it's always wrong. I'm always wrong. He's like, no, I don't change. You guys just change. Um, anyway, Fatima's here too. Yay. Ah, oh, isn't my favorite purple is, ah, uh, well, I just kind of like colors. Okay, you guys. So we've gotten everybody. Fatima's in. Larry said hello. Lupe, Linda, Tamara, Julia, Susan. Got the whole group. Um, Tamara said uh, her is her husband's improving a bit. Um, being able to reduce that heavy dosage of prednisone. Yeah, that's a. Ugh. Um, <clears throat> Still can't hear anything from his right ear. So that's hard, yeah. That's a hard thing on both of you guys. So it's a hard thing to get used to that one, um, on which one can hear. I, I know one of Bob's good friends, Kevin, doesn't hear out of one of his ears. He was a commercial fisherman for years. And so his oftentimes was the way he had um, when he was, I mean, out in Alaska, big commercial fishing boats, and he ran and he went from Alaska to the Seattle area all the way down to the south and San Francisco area. But when he'd be driving his boat, he'd be turning and where the motor, the engine is, that sound back there. So that one ear of his is kind of, all right. So, oh no. Well, yeah. Glad he didn't fall. That would be not fun. Anyway. So where am I here? Just checking. Um, back with everybody anything else the bullish clock nonsense I know <laughs> it does need to just I mean it's not like I mean they did it at one point I understand for the farmers no it just it doesn't apply anymore it just doesn't apply anymore we just don't live that kind of lifestyle anymore anyway um back of my art until we see Linda's recent work please what so did Linda just send something Linda hasn't sent anything, Larry. Uh, ah, there's Angie. What? Uh, so, Larry, are you telling me that you don't want me to show your stuff until Linda sends something in? Linda, did you send something? Holy crap. Did I miss something? She must not. Linda. <gasps> no. No. Linda, you didn't send anything to me. I don't see anything. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Larry's going to make me hold out on you guys until Linda sends something. That's like, oh my gosh. Oh, that's like a, what is it? Uh, um, ransom. Yeah, okay. His art is in ransom land until, until it gets sent in. <gasps> okay. As Larry requested, it's being moved to the Linda, La Linda ransom land. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea, Larry. <laughs> I like that. Here we go. We'll put it right there. All right. It's in Linda Ransom land. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Linda's like, no, 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 no. Oh, Linda. Uh, extortion. <laughs> Ransom. Does a kid's coloring book count? Yes, it counts. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Eh. Nope, hasn't said anything yet. Nope, okay. So... There we go. <laughs> Ooh, 
Well, Larry's, Larry will have to tell me in the chat whether or not I can release it from Ransom Land. Hey, Mo. Hi, Mona. How are you? Linda will be in the corner until she turns in her work. <laughs> She's in detention. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh. <laughs> Linda. Yes, your coloring book counts. We'd love to see some of your stuff from your coloring back. You can send it right now if you want. And I have my email right up there and it'll pop up and I can pull it in and it'll take Larry's out of ransom land. So what do you think of that? Ha ha. Okay. Because of this squirreliness, and I'm sure you guys want to get back to the Oscars, um, I'm going to go for time for... And we're starting with me. All right. So I fiddled around this week. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, oh, it's the camera there. Um, I, this was one night I was doodling. I had this other kind of paper and, um, it's real smooth. It's got a real smooth feel to it. I don't know what it is. It's on a pad that I got with some kind of art stuff. But I just started fiddling and doodling and doing and making flowers. <clears throat> I started to try to do this kind of and that kind. And I think I was doing it with my Arteza paint pens. Um, these guys. The real brush pen. Yeah. Hey, why did you turn off? The light turned off on me. Ugh. Um, and they were kind of cool because... Oh, that's not going to be a color that shows up for you. Because I could do these kind of like little things like this and they looked like flowers for me so I had some fun with that kind of reminded me Lupe I've been watching some of Lupe's flowers and stuff that she's been doing and it just kind of and when I was watching we were watching something else I don't know whether I was watching Cannery Row or Carnival Row or um might have been why whoa it's my head got in the way didn't it there we go. There we go. Come on, behave. Why is it going out of focus on me? Don't do that. There. Okay. Okay, so since that's freaking out, we'll do go to the next thing. So then I got into dragonflies. And I just kind of went overboard on dragonflies. Um, this one was today. This one was last night. And then I did them with, um, these guys I did with, uh, Derwent, uh, Aquarelle watercolor pencil. And then I went over them with this really kind of cool iridescent watercolor paint that I got through Instagram. And I kind of went crazy with the Instagram. So this is, this is Believe it or not, there's a dragonfly here on top of a flower. It's kind of crazy. Uh, another one, I was having some fun. I was watching people on how to do dragonflies. Those are those. And then... Ah, there they are. It started earlier, like earlier in the week with doing these and little dragonflies and tulip fields and whatnot did one there and then I did that one just the, I like dragonflies and they're kind of pretty easy to draw <clears throat> so I kind of went with that um anyway oh nope let's see if I can get check my mail Nope. Anyway, so that's been my little diddly, fiddly kind of artwork that I've been doing. Yeah. Just that. So that's what I, I total dragonfly and flower kind of 
craziness for a few days. That's just kind of what I did. So that's my art. And now we'll go to see what Lupe did. And she says, uh, oh gosh, I love this Lupe. She says, I'm working on this piece, part of, an aban of the abandoned art on my shelves, meant for March 17th upload. So you're gonna do it for St. Patrick's Day. Nice. I like that. It's really pretty. I, I, I love that you sent it in at this point because, let me pull up myself, oops. Pull up myself here. I, what I like is that I can see how you did the flowers and I can never really, people have always painted over everything before I get a chance to see what they've done. And this gives me a real chance to see how they're done. I'm just checking. <laughs> Hi, Mona. Do I do it? I've got nothing. I Come on, Lynn. Oh, she's... Don't get mad, Linda. <laughs> what about one of your writings? Do you have one of your poems? Yeah. Oh, thank you. More than 13 years. Oh, I'm not getting lost. I'm going to Facebook. There. Uh, yay, flowers. Um, I got nothing in the, she's got nothing in the cupboard. In the cupboard. No, she needs a drink. Linda says she needs a drink, and she's got nothing in the cupboard either. Uh, I'm on Facebook, but I don't go there very often, and it's unfortunate because I have some groups that I could be participate in, but uh, oh, it just... Oh, yay. Thanks, Tamara. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, guys. They would make fun cards and kind of things, but they're just, uh, they're just such an easy thing to, dr to draw. You know, you start with this flattened crisscross and you just kind of flatten it and then a bunch of like longer and skinnier and uh, things it's just I just love them and then I saw somebody did one where it was you know it looked like it was from an angle so yeah yes how you oh thank you I'm glad you like how I blend the colors they were that's what is really a lot of fun with that um with the watercolor I like is that it can blend um but catching up so yeah, so Lupe, I want to know what color you're going to do the flowers in, which different kinds. They're just so cool. And what are you using? To, are you painting these with acrylic or gouache? It's a windy day. So, oh, hi, Victoria. Nice to have you here. Yay. Yay, Kate Victoria's here. We got she got hasn't I haven't seen Victoria in a while. Hang on, where's my uh doo doo Yay. <laughs> but yes, so Lupe, this is really, really pretty. I'm excited to see what you do for the rest of it. So yay. <laughs> Um, let's see. Next we have, well, let's see. Uh, oops, we did have Larry. Larry, can I bring yours back in or no? Do I have to, are you, are you going to allow me to bring it back in? Email sent. It's not, oh, yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Email sent. Linda. Yes. Oh, Yay. 
hang on you guys just let me do this so watch uh here watch we'll go to preview mode and i'm gonna pull up linda's um there she is okay there's linda i have to bring up her scene all you guys who are regulars all have your own scenes with me uh oop, wait. there we go right there oh and then i can bring where there he is yahoo oh my goodness all right, so that, oh, yay. So let's see, I'll go here. You guys, very patient. So, Uh, unlock Linda's name, put it right there. Okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. So it's as bright as I can make it, but yay, Linda said something. So let's go back to, back to live mode. And then we will go to, where was I? Now it's to Linda's. So Linda, this is... It looks like a pirate ship going through the clouds and this, the moon. I know it's, I wish I could make it brighter. Um, let me see. Let me just try something. No can do right now. It's very cool, Linda. I love it. I love the, the clouds and the whole thing about it is just wonderful. <laughs> Fatima, I can't cut and paste on my iPad and I don't save them. Oh, you can't cut and paste on your iPad? Yeah, you can. I'll have to get on the phone and I'll show you how to do it. Oh, uh, peer pressure. <laughs> it's upperclassmen picking on their freshmen. <laughs> I'm getting tickets to Washington just to whoop Larry's behind. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> oh, I can't. Spray paint art. It's spray paint art. Wow. Um, very cool. Very cool, Linda. I love it. It's nice. Okay, next we have Larry. And this is, he didn't add anything to his story. It's like underwater, I think it was. Didn't you say it was underwater? Uh, Larry. Not that one. Oh, yeah, I think it was. I love the way you are developing your watercolor skills, Larry. They're just, it's just amazing. Absolutely cool. Very fun. On a surfboard. <clears throat> I'll have to go. The boy, the mole won the Oscar. What? The boy, the mole, the horse. Oscar oh Oscar. my goodness! Yay! Oh, Bob just had to come tell me, the 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 boy, the mole, the horse, and what, and the what, and the dog, the book I read to you guys one time that one. It just won the Oscar for best animated short. Yes! Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so good. I read that book to you guys. Layla wants me to read it to her every time I come up here. She comes up. Which she'll be up next week, by the way. Yay! And I think, <clears throat> you know, Thursday, 
I might not be here because my, you know, distant cousin, Miss Shepherdcon, is probably gonna. It's gonna be in Ireland, some St. Patrick's Day somewhere, so she'll probably show up and read to you. But anyway, Larry, this is wonderful. I like the way that that you have the fish underwater and all that. You just your skills. It's just I don't know the splashes, the whole bit. It's like you dove underwater with the surfboard. That's pretty cool. Now, Tamara has some things I kind of did. A, I think I put them in a little backwards. Oop, better move me. Um, <clears throat> she said, where was it? Tamara. There it is. She said, um, there's some that she's working on um, in collage. Uh, this one was the three different ones with different backgrounds, similar type of collage, almost has an Escher print type thing that the one with the brown background has an Escher-like quality to it, the way that the angelfish go together. I really like that. The ship is a wooden cutout, but the rest is spray paint. Oh, neat, Linda. Linda? No more, girl. You are amazing. Those were, that's a beautiful piece. Ugh. Yeah. Can't imagine getting clouds like that. I know. It is about a 48 inch. She's, Linda says she's working on a piece that's about a 48 inch glass tabletop. Yay. Surfs up. Down under, that's right, down under. They go. So that's Tamara's there. Then she has this one. Um, I put these two on one page. I know that the, on the next page you'll have one that's, on the one on the right is similar to colors to the one the next one, but I, the other two I wanted to put together. This one, I like, I have, it has, the one on the left, it has this really cool eye to it and just has, oh, there's, it's almost, the more you look at it, it's one of those that the more you look at, the more you see. Very cool. And then she has these two. Oops, let me move that one back to the front there oh, nope that's not what I wanted to do turn to the back there we go yeah so these are she's working you know how Tamara works on just changing them up there's a little bit of difference on the left hand side of this one and then the the background and the arches gosh I think, for me, I like uh, I like the one on the right. I like the simplicity on that part. Uh, very cool. Um, yeah, I've read uh, uh, Storm Boy. Yeah, I know. Uh, I read Storm Boy, and it's by Paul. Owen Lewis, um, a storm boy. I think that's Paul's book. Um, oh, maybe not. There's an, I was thinking of another one, storm, storm boy by Paul Owen Lewis. That's a book. Paul lives up here. Um, I haven't seen storm boy. I'll have to look at that one. And no, I haven't. So who good. All right. Um, so tonight, you guys, let's see. Yes. All right. I'm going to catch up with everybody's. Um, I did just this. Angelfish. Yes. Angelfish. Thanks, Victoria. We have a good time with this. They are. They're made from photos. Oh, my gosh. 
Nice. Macro picks of, of rocks. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Okay. I have a feeling I, I, I'm coming up with a plan. Coming up with a plan, Tamara. I'm going to send you an email. I have a plan here. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, it's story time. About, let me get my water here. And I, um, now Gretchen will have a new challenge. Um, I was looking at what books to read tonight and <clears throat> there were some silly kind of funny ones, but there was one book that I came across that the artwork was very pretty and just the combination of some of the things with what you guys were sending in. And I just like this artwork. Plus I really love the story about this, about a, a really example of kindness, which is all with and fill in buckets and what we're all about and um, what we, we share with each other. And it just felt like the right book to read. It is by, let me get it right up here. Um, it is by Kao Kalia Yang. Um, she has, she is a Hmong American writer. She's the author of memoirs, the L late homecomer, a Hmong family memoir, or the song poet and somewhere in the unknown world. Yang is, I think, um, and she's also the author of children's books, A Map into the World, The Shared Room, and The Most Beautiful Thing, which I read The Most Beautiful Thing to you guys, um, and Yang Warriors. She's co-edited the groundbreaking co collection, What God is Honored Here, Writings on Miscarriage and Infant Loss by and for Women and Women of Color. Yang's work has been recognized by the National Endowment for the Arts, the National Book Critics Award, the Chit Chautauqua Prize, the Penn USA Literary Awards, and Dayton's Literary Peace Prize. As Nobel Books by the Honor American L Library Association, Kirkus Book Review, ah, da, 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 da. She lives in Minnesota with her family and teaches and speaks across the country. So she's the writer of this book. And, um, it's a really, I, I, I thought it was just really wonderful. And then the illustrator is um, <clears throat> an award-winning dis illustrator, designer, and educator, and lover of all things natural and organic and textual. Textural. Da, da, da. Growing up, she bounced between Busan, South Korea, and Durham, North Carolina, and how now finally is settled in Baltimore, Maryland, after receiving her MFA in illustration practice from Maryland Institute College of Art, and she began teaching illustration there. So na nature is her biggest illustration, and I think you'll see that in this book. So um, I'm excited to share it with you. I'm going to scoot back up to here, and I'm going to bring the book, and I think I'm going to bring the book in front of me here. Maybe I'll read it. Oh, I'll just do this a little better. Oopsie, right there. Okay, um, boom, I have to close some tabs here. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to read this book is when mm, we were living in Kirkland, Washington um, a long time ago, and uh, there was across the, um, hang on. Just a sec, I just did something wrong. Oh, fiddle. Hang on. We, we were living, oh, I know what I did wrong. Come on, don't do that. There, there we go. We were living um, in Kirkland and across the street, there was a huge bunch of apartments. Uh, most of them were low income across the way and they're holding, but <clears throat> in that, um, apartments, there were uh, several families that were Hmong families. And there was a gentleman that we called grandfather. And, um, 
the girls and I would be taking off to swim lessons or going off to this place and we were coming back and I remember I had like a a Ford van I think it was something like that one of the mini early mini vans and we would be coming up the hill from San Michel down in the valley in the Redmond Valley down near San Michel and then coming up this big steep hill toward our, our house and grandfather would always be walking oftentimes walking up the hill and he would have a big long pole on his shoulder and he would be carrying bags of recycles of he would go and collect cans and he would leave very early in the morning and he would come and he would collect all day and he would be coming back so whenever we saw him out the girls and I would stop and pick him up and bring him back and bring him back to his house. And he, I never understood what he said. Uh, his wife was always, she was like maybe four foot five. <laughs> she was a tiny little thing. And all this, and we, and he would, they were just, then we, we'd see him, we lived across the way and we waved to him and stuff. And I can remember his children coming to us one time and just saying how, how much they appreciated that we brought him home when he was out like that. Cause sometimes it would be raining like crazy and it, he would be, you know, two miles from home and carrying this stuff. And I was just, uh, yeah. But what always, I always loved was every time we'd bring him in, this family would be just joyous to see him and then to us and, and the smiles and the love and everything about them. And it, it was just, Memories of grandfather um, and grandmother, his wife, were just something that the girls really, really loved. So hang on. I've got to get this back up. Just came and why did that do that? Okay. Well, fiddle. That's not where I want that to be. I want this to be oh okay and there and ha huh. something happened here let me get my I got the windows up wrong uh, I need to show my things. Okay. All right. We'll go to here. There we go. Oops, that's the wrong one. And give me two seconds, you guys here. I've got, I, hi, Kelly. There, and then I go down to here. I'll pull this up. There we go. Ah, got it now. Hang on. Now I got it. There we go. I got it. I fixed it. And there's the book. I knew it was going to be. It's not going to come across here. Um, yep, and here, I think, and I can almost. Yay. All right. Got it. Whew, sorry. There. Okay. A map into the world. It's the book I'm going to read tonight. Now I got it. I got it set. Sorry about that. I had, I'd flipped something and somehow I had a window stuck behind another window. Gretchen having some technical stuff. Um, yay. Okay. Here we go. 
A map into the world. I love this. Look at this beautiful tapestry type painting. So cool. <clears throat> the first time we saw the swing and the slide and the garden of the, and of the greenhouse with the big windows, my mother sat down in a chair in the backyard and said she did not want to get up. Say, say, and I looked at the garden, and she pointed out tomatoes, green beans, and a watermelon round as my mother's belly. Say, say, knelt down to touch the dirt. I asked my mother if I could try the swing, and she said, Yes, Ponyu. The greenhouse became our house. I helped Say, say, hang the special story cloth about how Hamong got to America on the empty wall by the big window of the living room. We saw an old man and woman through the window. We, they waved and we waved back. Later, my mother and father brought me across the street. The old man's name was Bob and the old woman's name was Ruth. Up close, I could see that they were even older than Sese. Sissy and I were in the garden, picking tomatoes and beans and checking on the watermelon when my parents brought my baby brother home, brothers home from the hospital. I ran to the gate. The boys were smaller than my baby dolls, but cuter than any doll with their fuzzy heads and red lips and round brown eyes. Some days the babies cried very loud. I covered my ears with my hands and asked my father to take me outside. Bob and Ruth sat on their special bench and waved back and forth. The leaves of the two ginkgo trees by Bob and Ruth's house turned yellow like apricots. On, on a day, or, once a day, there it is, once a day, a brisk wind blew the fan-shaped leaves coming flying down. They covered the grass and the street and the dark mouth of the drain. Bob raked the while Ruth sat and watched. I brought in a leaf for the babies to touch, but my mother said, They're still, still too little, Panja. The snow made the world quiet around us. We stopped seeing Bob and Ruth outside. The snowflakes fell on their driveway and glittered in the gray light. I made a ball of snow for my brothers, but it melted before they woke up from their nap. At night, I looked out our big window at Bob and Ruth's house to see their light shining across the dark street. Sometimes I saw a shape of a person looking back at me and I waved but the shadow person never waved back. On a cold morning, cars came to our block, filling the street. Car doors slammed as men and women in thick jackets walked quickly to Bob and Ruth's house. My father said, Ruth has died. Her family is coming to say goodbye. I felt sad for Ruth. My brothers just played with toys above them. The cars kept coming and going the next day and the next. I swayed back and forth on my toes by the big window. I tried to lift one of my brothers so the people could see how cute he was, but he cried. And my mother said, you're still too little to carry him, Panya. After the Hmong New Year, my baby brothers learned how to sit on their own and we all sat looking out the window together. I clapped for them when a plane flew across the high skies and they laughed every time. The house across the street looked empty. The ginkgo trees reached for the sky with their thin fingers. When the snow started melting, I could not wait to return to the swing and the slide and the gardens 
my baby brothers crawled all over the floor, underneath the table and the chairs. They were like puppies, their tongues licking everywhere. I found the first worm of spring on the sidewalk and named her Annette. I wanted to bring her inside so my brothers could watch her wiggle, but my mother said, um, I don't think so, Panja. The world became green again, and finally we all went outside. Taisai planted green onions. I picked flowers from the lilac bushes for my brothers to smell. They opened their mouths and tried to eat them. My mother said, don't let them eat the flowers, Panja. <sighs> We took the babies outside again the next day after lunch. Bob's garage door opened, and we all watched as he pushed out his special bench. He sat down alone. I pulled on my mother's sleeve until she looked at me, and I whispered an idea in her ear. My mother and I crossed the street and walked over to Bob. I let the sidewalk chalk bucket swing in my hands. I asked my mother to ask Bob if I could draw on his driveway. I said, if he doesn't like it, the rain will come and wash it away. Bob nodded and said, go ahead. My mother and Bob talked in low voices and I could hear Bob say, Ruth, she was with me for 60 years. I started my picture with a teardrop and then I made it splatter like sunshine. I drew lines leading away from the splattered sun in many directions. I drew a line that led to the garden. There I put a yellow ginkgo leaf. I drew a line that led to the grass. There I made a sparkling snow. I drew a line to the sidewalk. There I put a smiling worm named Annette. I drew an arrow to our house, and there I added lilac flowers. And then I drew a line, the biggest line of all, toward the street. And there I drew the whole world. When I was done, I walked quietly to my mother and to Bob. They stopped talking, and Bob shook my hand. What did you draw for me? He asked. I said in a whisper, A map into the world, just in case you need it. And Bob said, I think I might. And that's the story. It says, full of heart and hope. This is exactly the kind of book I want to read to my daughter, and I wish I could hand a copy to every kid. This was one of the reviews. This is the ginkgo leaf flower there. So, so pretty. Let me see, where am I? Yay! Back to there! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, there it is. All right, you guys. Well, what did you think of that? Okay. I know, isn't it a beautiful story? I just remember so much uh, how, how that, and the, the embroidery that grandmother had on her, uh, and, and grandfather had on his hat, and on his sleeve and the things that they had was just so, so beautiful. Um, it's going to be just, it, it was just wonderful. So I thought it was a lovely book. It made me, it reminded me so much of them and waving at him and the whole thing. And that, that even though we couldn't understand each other, my girls still remember always. In fact, there were some times when we would have come home and I can remember Annalena and Bryn both saying, 
it's it's raining hard, and I don't think grandfather's come home yet. We should go out and look for him. <laughs> and sometimes we would. If we it was a lovely yeah. So an inchworm, yeah, yeah. The illustrations are beautiful. Um, <clears throat> uh, so Sarah Taylor is going to be at the Fluid Art Experience in Seattle. It's the one class I'm going to on Saturday afternoon of the Fluid Art Experience because I'll be at my Art Tart Retreat and the whole rest of it. And it's the one class I want to see, I wanted to go to. Um, yeah, other people are great and wonderful, but I, to get a chance, I'm, I'm doing her abstract class, which is, I'm very excited to see that. So Tamara, I get to see her. She lives in in Idaho, in Coeur d'Alene, outside of Coeur d'Alene, actually. Uh, um, so, and I've, and, and we, she and I have communicated because I went, when we drove through her town and I wanted to know if she had anything in a gallery. And so we've communicated via email, but I'm just excited to see what she does. Yeah, it's a beautiful, make you, oh, Kelly, made you sniffly. Kelly, I enjoyed watching your, um, your live today was about how my one painting brought back the memory of my great grandmother's dress. It was wild. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Well, you guys all know about my grandmother's. I just, uh, oh, uh, you wish I was coming to fab. Oh, I know that's no, I, I flew I, here in Seattle. This is, I've got an art thing going on. Yeah. I just, I'd gotten an uh, email yesterday too, from Art Wolf. He wanted to know if I wanted to come to Moab with him, but I can't cause the, the grandkids are coming up, but, oh man, I just, I need to, I need to figure out some art shows to go to. And I think that, so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. When you start tapping into those memories, I loved how in the, what the little girl did, how she started with a teardrop. So that's going to be my challenge this week. I'm going to start with the teardrop and see where it takes me. Um, and so it'll be cool to see what I get. You guys try something too. All right. But I will be back on Thursday. Uh, that will be the 16th. Well, I might not be back. Mrs. Shepherdcon, Miss Shepherdcon, you know, the, that goofy cousin of mine may show up from Ireland and just have her way with the show like she did last year. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks so much for being here. I'm just checking everybody where it is. Um, yeah. And Fab, where, uh, Kelly, where is Fab going to be held? Um, I'll tell her that. I, I will tell her that, Tamara. Um, and I, I know that, Kelly, you, uh, um, you're going down to um, Nate's, aren't you? Didn't I, Nate, Nate said you were coming down to paint with him. I'm pretty, that's pretty exciting. And he's going to be up here. He said he was coming up here to Seattle. So I'm excited to see that. Um, um, but I don't know if anybody else is going. Oh, it's in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, gosh. Put that on my list. If anybody else is coming up to Seattle, let me know if you're coming um, to the Fluid Art Experience. Other than local folks might be driving in. Anyway, like I said, I'm just doing the one class because I don't do a lot. I uh, don't, I mean, fluid art is, I love watching it and I love playing with my granddaughters with it, but it's not my main jam. So going to the whole weekend was not <clears throat> really what I want. I've got my art tart retreat on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of that week beforehand. So on that week, I'll be gone in April on the Thursday night that we would normally I'll be up at Fort Warden and with my art tarts and, uh, have an, a great retreat there, but that's, that's in April, but Layla should be up here next week. I hope anyway, until next time, you guys keep looking for the beauty 
hidden in plain sight. It's all around you. And you know, go look in the mirror and you'll see it looking right back at you. It's the first place you find it. Love you, Benches. You guys are special. You make me feel wonderful. And once again, it's the best way for me to kick off my week is to fill my bucket with being with you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you Thursday. Whoops. What was that? What happened? It wasn't supposed to happen. Here we go. There. <laughs> Push the keys too hard. In the heat of the night, we could get lost in all the lights and sounds. Feeling all right, we won't go home. We will just stay here downtown. There's not just stars on the boulevard. They're in the light in your eyes. Oh, we don't need no black cards. I just need you by. My pleasure. What a coaster for Rika, March 21st, Kelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kelly, that's like when I got back from a. Uh, Phoenix and two days later turned around and flew to Oaxaca. Take care. Have a great week.